Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a wedding planner binder and I made this for under five dollars. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, let me tell you why we have a DIY wedding planner. My son got engaged for Christmas. He asked his girl to marry him and she said yes. So, the wedding is planned. So in this binder, I have a pouch, which like I said, was all part of this binder. And inside of this pouch, I put a little notepad, a red pen, a black pen, and a pencil, and then some stickies, right? Some tabs. You can never have too many of this. And then she could fill this with receipts or anything else that is important to her. And then look at this. Isn't this great? So Kaylee and TJ, and I, TJ didn't look good, so I wrote out his full name, and their wedding. I have a bunch of wedding paper, so I am so looking forward to using this. This is actually vinyl. I cut this out in vinyl. And then let me show you. This planner is a free printable. And I'm going to link that in the description box below. Yeah, I looked at planners. They could go for 40, 50, 60, even on up. But I knew I wanted to make it. So I'm just gonna go through. Look at these beautiful tabs. I made them all on the Cricut, right? So this is like a 103, 105 page printable. And for me, I have the HP printer. So my paper, it, it costs me nothing to print. It really does. So your big day starts now. This planner belongs to, and I figure Kaylee can fill out a couple of things. How to use the planner. And then I made dividers out of the wedding paper I had. So this is a checklist. Um, 12 months prior. This, this planner had everything that we needed in it. Nine, six to eight, three to five, two months, one month out, wedding week. I mean, for free, uh, unbelievable. Wedding day, after your wedding. And then the next divider is the calendar. Now this was a 2023 glance, you know, at a glance. And then I printed out and I did front and back on, on most of the sheets. I did the yearly so that if she's got something specific in that month, she can write it in there. And then this is a monthly. And I'm going to fill this in for her before I give it to her. And I did it for the next, I think I did 10 months out. So that's that. Then there's a to-do list sheet, right? I, I printed out more than I should have on this, but I figured it would be okay because she'll probably have lots of things to do. Then this is a schedule, and it was really good. Uh, I, ceremony, musicians, ushers, another schedule in detail, and then budgets, the wedding budget. So if you're following me, I am now on a savings journey. <laughs> Savings is going to be put towards something else now, obviously, but we're going to do a um, a savings folder with all the things that they need to save for. So if you like it when we stuff envelopes, we're going to be stuffing wedding envelopes. So this is their budget, and we'll do a lot of research on this. And then vendors. Now inside the vendors section, I then subdivided. I feel like I am... I feel like that. I feel like I am Monica on Friends with the clip to her wedding book. So I love that show. So this is the the venue, the photography. See how I, I did each sub panel, sub, right? You could see all that. I want to make sure I'm in frame. Then this is the videographer on the next page. It's the food. We got drinks. Who's gonna be the officiant? the bride attire, the bridesmaids, the grooms, um, music, music schedule, stationary flowers, 
if you're going to bring in your own decor, her hair, her makeup, their rings, like everything is like here to help us to organize, to budget, to remind us. Cakes, favors, guest list, transportation. I love the guest list because it's got their phone number, the email, whether or not you save the date invitation, RSVP, their thank you, who's attending, and then what table number you're going to put them at. And then we have a section for the seating chart. Then we have a section for, and we can draw out a floor plan, which I, I love this organization. Um, wedding party information. Groomsman, flower girl. It's all here. The ushers, the ring bearer. Then this is the rehearsal dinner information. The engagement party information. Um, uh, her, who she'd like to be included in the bridal um, shower guest list. I mean, honeymoon information. Wedding vows. Um, day of. Things that they have to get done on the day of. And then I put a section back here of notes. And I also included, well, two fun looking um, paper clips and then a folder to put receipts or whatever she needs to put in it and this is their planner how cool is this so like I said it was budget friendly to do this which is truly amazing and I will link it in the description box below. If, they, if there's anything I left out that you didn't see that I should have included, let me know that. Um, honestly, there might have, should have been a registry. Like, what, what can they put on their registry? But I can do that again. I'll look into that. And uh, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment, hit that thumbs up button, maybe hit that subscribe button, stick around, and watch what's happening because in the coming year, you might see some wedding DIYs. If you like savings, we're going to be savings for that. We're going to have savings challenges. So much going on. But yeah, Kaylee and TJ, it's happening, guys. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.